the market isn't too hot right now and neither are the interest rates, neither is Las Vegas. I kind of need to warm up a little bit, but this home and this community right here could potentially get you a 5.5 interest rate. Let's check this thing out. Okay guys, welcome back to Cadence here in Henderson. Today we're showing homes by Century Communities. This is in the Modena 2 set of homes. This is residence 1943 plan. That's the year Ryan was born, 1943. Ah, uh, he stole my joke, but that's okay. <laughs> As you come in, uh, there's, a, there's a, tight, a half bathroom downstairs, then you have uh, stairs, but we'll show you upstairs afterwards. You have a great, under stairs um, storage and then you have access to your garage there but that's locked at the moment it's the sales office then you come into this really nice great room i love how it's set up over this side you've got a really nice accent wall you've got a gorgeous fireplace it's not just for decoration ryan will tell you that we do get cold uh, winters here in Vegas around the, the high 40s, low 50s. Yes, we do. At the time of us recording this, this morning started out in the 40s. We've made it to the 60s, but still, that's cold to me, and <laughs> I still need my fireplace. <laughs> so it's not just for decoration, as pretty as it looks. Then, as it flows into the kitchen and you sort of set up for dining on the other side, I really love this island. It's a really generous size island. Some islands, I feel, a pitiful and, and just there for show, but this one is a really nice island. Plenty of space on this side for seating, and you've got that lip. Over this side, you've got a really good uh, sink, and you've got your dishwasher. Great views looking out over your backyard as well. I mean, I, I love this setup, and I love throughout the kitchen the amount of countertop space because my wife, as much as I love her, she loves having so many different appliances plugged in all over the countertops, whether it's a uh, coffee machine, rice cooker, slow cooker, air fryer, gosh, you name it, she's probably got it. Um, <laughs> so this type of countertop definitely works for us. Open up the pantry for you guys there, and then we'll go walk through. So it is kind of, as you see the cabinets here, I'm not sure if you can tell, this is, it's somewhat of a gray-ish blue tint um, for the cabinet style that they have with the quartz countertops. And then as Pete always says, his wife likes to be able to wash dishes and look out in the backyard. Well, hey, look. Again, when we're talking about compromise, and if you feel like you're that person that wants to be able to see what's going on in the backyard, you got kids, things like that, and you wanna be able to keep an eye on them, this kitchen has it pretty much laid out for you. Definitely a big thing for my wife who's been able to see out the backyard. One thing I also love as a parent is a soft close. You do have soft closes on the drawers, not so much on the, excuse me, I'll try to open it the wrong side there, not so much on, ah, oh, it does have a soft little close. A little bit, a little bit, yeah, a little bit. But no, it is a nice touch and always just a really cool feature. Um, another cool thing is gas stoves. If you, I like cooking with a gas stove. Prefer, I prefer it over electric and most of the new homes out here will have gas stove appliances like that. And then you can see we got the oven in the range right Plenty there. of space here as well. I mean, sometimes you get homes that are quite cramped and sometimes you can't open your dishwasher or your fridge or open yeah. up your oven. Plenty of space here. It's a really good width and I find a lot of the newer homes now have incorporated that into it. And then the cabinets wrapping all the way back around over onto this side too. So plenty of cabinets and storage space. You got dogs, dog food, things like that that needs to be stored, right? All this other extra space, counters, uh, countertop going all the way down with the backsplash too. And just to give you the full length view of the room, all the way in the back. I've seen some funny backsplashes in some of the home tours we've done. and. I actually like this one. I think this one is quite nice. It's quite simple. It is. It's more subtle. Like I said, simple. Um, and even when you have the lights coming from underneath, right, it just kind of gives you a nice little flare when they hit underneath like that. So it is very subtle. Works very now, nice with the quartz countertops as well. Now he's going to make me go outside. That's why I'm wearing a hoodie today. <laughs> it is quite windy today, although it seems to have died down a little bit. Now, one of the things we always hear from you guys about new construction homes is the yards. The yards are sometimes too small. Century communities and especially the Modena 2 range of homes, their yards are really, really well appointed, really good sizes, plenty of space. I mean, I'm, I'm just going to keep on walking all the way to the back and uh, sort of give you an idea of what the size is like. But you can see there's, there's plenty of space here, whether you want to have a pool, 
whether you want to have more entertainment space, whether you want to have something for the kids to play on, you want to have maybe some citrus fruit trees or plants, there's just plenty of space here. There is a, a covered patio, I think that is an optional extra, but I think that's well worth it if you like entertaining. I think it's good use, especially in the summer times that we get here, a lot of sun. I'll switch spots with you now. I stayed by the door just to give you guys context of how much he kept walking. So the Modena 2 models, um, they do have, some of them do have the 37 or 38 foot backyards, and that is going to give you a really long, good size backyard like this, okay? Not all of them do, and that's exactly why you guys got to reach out with that information right there on the screen. We are always in touch and up to date with these builders and the builder reps on anything that they have to offer, whether that be rates, what's going on with the homes, how many they have left, what models are available. Make sure you guys reach out however you're comfortable and whenever you're ready with that information right there on the screen. There we go, let's go ahead and head back in. It's getting a bit too cold out there. Yeah, a little, little chilly for me. Our fireplace is looking more inviting. <laughs> Way more inviting, right? Put a nice 80 inch TV up there, put some football on, American football, and then uh, we'll be good. Watch the Niners lose again, yeah, absolutely. Maybe, maybe, tonight, you know. We are in Vegas, so we do have the Raiders here. <laughs> We're not gonna poke fun though. Let's go upstairs, guys, and show you what's going on up here as the stairs wind and wrap around. I like the wrap around effects. It's, it's quite nice. Yeah, it gives you the nice high ceilings on the entryway. Nice windows up there letting in that natural light. The way this one is set, as you come up the stairs, you're going to be, uh, the first room you're going to have on the right is going to be the primary. It's a really good sized primary, lots of big windows. Um, I don't know if you've seen the other model from this home, but this actually uh, feels bigger than the, the bigger floor plan. It feels like a bigger primary. It does, and then, yeah, like he's saying, the other video is on this channel for the other home, but this definitely does feel a little bit bigger in terms of these, the overall size that it does have. Then we'll wrap around and come into the bathroom. You have a walk-in closet here. You might be saying, oh, Peter, that's not a big walk-in closet. What's going on here? There's another one, let me show you that in a second. You have a walk-in shower here with the open door like that. I prefer some of the other ones we've seen where they don't necessarily have the door effect. The slider, I prefer yeah. the, the open close like that. I find sometimes it gets a bit sticky. Twin vanity and a medicine cabinet on the side. You've got a private toilet there. And then you have the bigger of the two walk-ins here. Nice, so two walk-in closets. We already know which one you're getting, and it's not this one. <laughs> I'm not even getting the second one. That'll probably just be for the... You might be lucky and get that one, but yeah, the really good size, and here we go with the owner suite again, but just again, to orient you, um, we did come up the stairs, and that was the first bedroom on the right. As we come on through, we have the first of the guest rooms. Again, it's a really good size. I'm not so sure on the choice of color for the paint, but... Horses for courses, as my grandma used to say. It definitely feels bright. I mean, I'm not gonna lie about that. Definitely feels a lot brighter in here. I wanna say that's a peach. It's gotta be a peach. Um, but, but nicely done. And again, this is about a full size bed right here. And you can see it's a pretty standard 10 by 11-ish, uh, give or take standard bedroom, really. And then we're gonna go ahead and- You have a, your laundry room here. Always nice to have that upstairs. Definitely, I prefer it upstairs. I know a lot of other people do too. And then here's my favorite room. <laughs> This is great, I love how they've done that. Again, similar size. I love the effect that they've put in uh, with the, how they've decorated it though. I mean, we were saying off camera, this this is definitely um, yeah, definitely a fun room. So if you're a Spider-Man fan, if you're an Avengers fan, like me and my kids are, um, just uh, some nice touches on it, but they have like the comic book paper back here as wallpaper, so I thought that was pretty cool. And then they also have it on the bed sheet, so I thought that was pretty cool. Just kind of comic book geek nerding out, but that's okay. <laughs> it's all right. And then we go into a full your... size bathroom with a tub and again, twin vanity and then your medicine cabinet there as well. All right. 
So this is gonna be the part of the video, guys, where we talk to you about the community, the amenities, and then the other things that may be impacting your financial decision, like the HOA, SIDS, LIDS, lot premiums, home price, and all that other good stuff. This is the part where we talk to you about where we are actually at in the Las Vegas Valley because that could be super huge for you and really important depending on your job or what it is that you like to be around and your lifestyle. We're gonna hit on the HOA, the SIDS list, all those things, and we're gonna talk about getting those rates down at the end, so make sure you stick around for that and we can potentially get you into the five. Stick around though. All right, so where we are at, we are in Henderson, okay? I'm not from Henderson, he's the Henderson expert over here and he's gonna really give us the orientation of where we are at in Henderson and what there is to do and all the really cool things that I have right here on this paper that we're gonna pop up for you on the screen as he's going through them. So what do we got going on here? So I think the first thing to note is that, as you said, Ryan, we're in Henderson and Henderson is a separate city to Las Vegas. A lot of people don't realize it, but Henderson is a separate city. Actually one of the safest, largest cities in the whole of the US. That's just a important fact for you there. So Henderson um, is a city. Cadence is a community within the city of Henderson. So Cadence is towards the east of Henderson. One of the newer communities as well in Henderson, along with Inspirada, the other side of Henderson, both similar style, really like great communities in terms of what a community should be. Everybody out with their friends, families, all mingling as a neighborhood. I love to see it. In this community, you're gonna have the 50 acre Central Park, which is amazing. There's a lake that you can walk around, a really great walking trail, free Wi-Fi in that park as well. Gives you some great views of the, the strip and, and some of the mountain views from that park as well. In that park as well, there's playground splash pads, there's great dog walking trails. There's a, a fitness, an outdoor fitness center with seven different steps and gives you the instructions on how to give yourself a full body workout, which is always great to do. I tried it myself one time and yeah, I probably lasted two pull-ups and I was like, oh, that's it, I'm, I'm time out, I'm checking out. But it's good, it gives you all the instructions on how to do it. There's an Olympic-sized swimming pool as well. So not just a, a small little paddling pool, so to speak, but an Olympic-sized swimming pool for those of you who like to get your swimming laps in, which is fantastic. And then there's 100 acres of sports field. There's, uh, there's loads of walking trails throughout the community. So it's another one of those communities where it's great if you like to be outdoors, enjoying outdoors. One of the things I didn't realize before I moved here is how much green space there is to enjoy oh, yeah. in a lot of the communities here in the Vegas and Henderson area. So Cadence has all that to offer. And then on the wider scale, in terms of proximity, if you want to be close to a hospital, I get that quite a lot. You want to be close to a hospital. Henderson, brand new major hospital, is only a 10 minute drive from here. Uh, Carabunga Bay, great water park. We love it as a family. I've been there every summer since I moved over here. That's only 10 minutes away from here as well. You've got a Smith's Marketplace, which Ryan loves Smith's Marketplace. It's, he always calls it like a Whole Foods. It's got a bar, it's got a meat, a deli, a cheese counter, a bread area, as well as just your usual grocery store, which is what normally Smith's is, like Kroger, a, a grocery store. In terms of going towards the Strip and the airport, you're only 20 minutes away from the airport, 25 minutes away from the Strip. I mean, some of the views, you can see how close the Strip is. So really, in terms of proximity, I think it's a really great location. I do too, and going back to what he said about like, you know, people don't realize how green Vegas can be. And yes, there's brown mountains, you know, then they do get covered in snow, or a lot of them do. Um, I was actually talking to a buddy of mine and he, you know, it's funny, the mindset that people have, they think when you live in Vegas, it's like you either live in a hotel suite on the strip <laughs> or you live in just a desert with cactuses, like it's Arizona or something, I don't know. Definitely not the case. Um, it is definitely more green in, in, around Vegas than you would absolutely think so. Um, and all of the things that he mentioned that are part of Cadence, right, when I was telling you about this sheet right here, when we were looking at uh, 450 acres of just open green space or rocks, you know, desert landscapes in some areas, free Wi-Fi in the Central Park, 50 acres Central Park, like he was saying, six different school sites, 30 acres of trails. He talked about the fitness court, 100 acre sports park he talked about, just so much going on here. And what that leads me into is, some of you are like, well, if this community has all this to offer, that HOA fee has gotta be sky high, 
right? It's got to be. So I'm gonna let him talk about what that HOA fee is. And we've kind of already talked about what it includes. All right, so what is the HOA fee? Uh, we've, we, we always get asked all the time as well, don't we? It's the number one asked question yeah. is what's the HOA fee and what does it include? Not how much is the price of the home. It's always around HOA. And I know some people are put off about being in a HOA. They don't wanna pay a huge amount and have people demanding stuff from them. So in this community, in uh, Cadence, in all over Cadence, you're gonna have a $50 a month uh, HOA fee. And you know, when Ryan just called out everything that that includes really, that's fantastic value because yeah, all is... of the upkeep of all of those areas is amazing. And that's a lot of things to go and enjoy. I mean, if you were to join a gym, I mean, that's definitely gonna be a lot more than that. And yes, obviously an outdoor gym is separate to an indoor gym, but there's still a lot more stuff you can enjoy just for, you know, I've seen I've seen HOAs that are more than that, that don't include half of those no, things. So not. for me, $50 a month is really, really fair. It's a steal. And now this is not a gated community, but if there were a gated community, there would most likely be a sub association and then you'd have another association fee stacked on top of that to combine into one, which is what I have where I live. We have a master association and then we have a sub association because of the gated community. So now he, some of you may want specific gated communities and we totally understand that depending on you know what it is that you like and that sense of security and things like that, totally get that. But let's move on to SIDS and LIDS. This is a fee if you haven't seen any of other videos that you could encounter, all right? I encountered it when I moved here and bought a house here. SIDS and LIDS is essentially the nutshell version of you repaying the city for the investment in the community, building the infrastructure, sewers, pipes, roads, and making the community happen. What are we looking at for SIDS and LIDS fees here? In this community, and when you consider that Cadence is a brand new community, none of this infrastructure was really here before, there's actually no SIDS or LIDS in this community. You don't pay anything back for that. So that's a, I think that's another win. You're winning on your HOA, winning on your amenities, winning on your SIDS and LIDS and not having to pay that. I think that's really good. Uh, we're going to keep on winning. You know, we, we just like to win, right? That's what everybody does. Everybody likes to win. So we check those boxes. Now, when it comes to rates, all right, and because these century communities is doing everything they can to help, especially when things are just nuts, right, with the rates at the time of this recording. And depending on when you see this, we're recording this in November of 2023, okay? Now, he's gonna to touch on what it is that they let us know, and this is, again, why you gotta reach out because we're always in contact with these reps to make sure we have the most up-to-date information of how we can do anything for you to help. All right, so what are we looking at with rates? Yeah, and it's a hot topic at the moment. Rates are you know, quite high, higher than a lot of us really want. I have a lot of people who've reached out from these videos and really, really wanna move, really wanna get into a new home, but they're like, Pila, we just need to wait. The rates are too high, and we just can't do it now. The payments with the rates being high are gonna to be too high for us. Well, if you're in a position where you can close by the end of the year, so close on a home by the end of 2023, think of the average escrow in general is normally around 30 days on a completed home anyway. So if you're in a position where you can close by the end of the year, this builder is offering a rate of 5.5% and covering all of your closing costs. And on top of that, knocking off a little bit extra from the price of the home, probably around about 20,000 off the price of the home. So 20,000 off, no closing costs, which is normally around 3% of the purchase of the home and a rate of 5.5% in a home that is probably gonna be under 500,000. I think that's another win. Now, if you are watching this and you're thinking, that's amazing, Peter, that's so good, but I'm not gonna be ready until February. Don't worry, that's obviously the deals now up until the end of the year. You need to reach out to myself and Ryan because as Ryan said, we have a fantastic relationship with the builders. We can have that conversation with them and we can then see how we can get you the best for your terms and conditions for when you wanna move, whether that's February, March, whenever it works for you in your timeline. If you've got things like work, school, selling a home, I know not everyone can move right now. But if you can, I think 5.5% is, uh, is a great, fantastic uh, right to have definitely is and like I said, that's all pending qualifications and situations and things like that But that's again why you've got to reach out to us One other thing I will touch on because we don't mention price a lot in our videos because the builders can change their prices at any time All right, when you see it online and it may say one thing you can check back the next month and it could go up or down They can change their prices. Okay, so at the time of this recording the home that you just saw all right the, the price range is gonna be starting around your mid 400s, I wanna say around 450,000, all right? Now, depending on options, upgrades, and things like that, all right, it could go up, obviously. But we just wanted to go ahead and put that out there because I know some of you are like, you guys never say the price. Well, that's because they can change and that's why we want you to reach out to us so we can give you that up-to-date information. But 
Again, this is the Las Vegas Homes channel. We have tons of other videos on this channel. All We've gone all around the valley, Henderson, Summerlin, Northwest, Southwest, doesn't matter. We're doing it all and making sure you see every opportunity possible for you and your new home. My name is Ryan and this is Peter. Go ahead and check out those videos right now.